talk about technology and the crazy perks that these companies used to offer to attract and retain top talent at Silicon Valley firms. Could they be a thing of the past as they look to cut costs? I, I want to look at some of the, let's look at some of these perks that we're talking about, the craziest perks out there. The Google nap pod, everybody needs a place to take an, a midday nap. And then how about the free helicopter rides? At one point, security camera company Dropcam provided free monthly helicopter rides for employees and their friends. Helicopters are dangerous, by the way. The CEO there flew the helicopter himself. Eventbrite has an arcade room or had an arcade room for its employees. A new arcade game was placed in the office once a month to prevent boredom. And then Facebook, the social media giant, offers free haircuts on site for its staffers along with free food all day long. Mike, what do you make, what are some of the perks that companies might be getting rid of? So I think when you look at the Facebooks and the Googles and, you know, Apple has this huge new complex they're building, they're performing so well, I don't think they're going to have any pushback on their perks. Mm -hmm. But some of these companies went out, they raised money. This is where you talk about bubbles, so people want to bring up. They raised money at huge valuations, and now they're using that money for stupid things like rock climbing walls and, and massive ping pong tables where, where they're treating their company that's really investors' money, they're treating that like a fraternity would. And those companies are in trouble, and you're seeing it already. When you see companies being written down 50, 60 percent from their valuations, a lot of that is because because management is using the money kind of as a slush fund, as kind of for to treat it like uh, for games instead of building the business is what they were supposed to do. So if you build a good business, Facebook, Google, Apple, you have all the perks in the world and no shareholders you are going to have pushback. Even during the, the first dot-com bubble and the first internet boom, and once again, when companies raise money, you wouldn't believe the amount of money they spend on expensive office furniture because this modern kind of uh, mid-century modern office furniture is extremely extraordinarily expensive and they will go out and literally blow tens of thousands of dollars on it just immediately to make the place look cool right and it's just astonishing to me that it they is, still do it it is amazing I mean office furniture is out of control expensive but I also think to build on your point about about the perks that are in about the perks that are important to folks, I, I think that it's got to be part of the culture. So if it makes sense to keep your employees more engaged and you're, you're doing things like getting haircuts in the office and you're going to say it's going to improve your performance, that's one thing. But just to have ping pong tables or video games to keep people from getting bored, that's not necessarily improving the quality of life and making people more engaged in the workplace. And I think to hit on this theme, kind of to tie it all together, is that the companies that don't do it right, the companies that are spending on silly things, are going to be has-beens. They're going. The market's going to realize it, and they're going to. The market will pass them by. Um, so, if you, you need when you're investing as a venture capital fund, when you're looking at companies, you want to make sure that if I'm giving you money, I need to know that you're going to be handling it properly and treating it like your own, not as if you just walked in and hit lotto. So, that for us is a big thing. If we're going to back your company, we want to know how you're going to spend it, and we want to be able to see how you're spending it. You don't want to see the stupid stuff. Right. <laughs> 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 to put it to, to put it simply thank you thanks everybody thanks guys